Oh, 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 guys, what did I just say? What did I just say? Victoria's Secret. Please be more. More. Victoria's Secret. Two more. Another one. Another one. Are you nuts? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. Nutcracker. <laughs> What's up, lock of nuts? What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, I hope that you're all staying safe and staying home as much as possible, all right? I know that that's what we've been doing. The shelter in place has definitely changed our lives, but I can't say that I'm, I'm uh, going stir crazy. Not yet, because I still have a lot of stuff to go through. I'm getting my unboxing fix. I've been hearing from you guys that you're anxious to get a little more unboxing also. In fact, I just got a message this morning on Facebook Please put out another video. I need to see more unboxing. So here we go. Let's get started. Now, this box right here, as well as these boxes sitting over there, those are out of the train unit. So if you remember that big, the two units actually that we bought with three other guys, there was four of us together. We teamed up, we collaborated to buy this, what we're calling the train unit, because this guy was a big train collector, but he had tons of other stuff too in old stuff, right? We've been finding really good old collectibles. I'm hoping that's what's in here. I don't remember. What does the box say? I don't know, it's got colors. White, tan, black sets, tights. Oh, this might, mm, well, it might be lingerie or underwear or workout clothes or something. They have a lot of that kind of stuff in this locker as well. Kind of a strange thing to collect, but, but let's take a look in here and see what we got. All right, you ready to get started? All right. You might notice I'm in my uh, spare bedroom here, and this is where we do our auctions. So if it looks a little familiar, that is why. We have all the lights set up here. I just thought it'd be an easy place to get started. All right, I'll, I'll, right away, I know what this is, okay? All right, not exactly what it is, but we have an idea based on what I can see. And you notice that they're all in these bags. Wiener schnitzel? Yeah, Wiener schnitzel bag, but there's underwear in there. So these are... A pair of panties here. So this is what we would call dead stock or new old stock. It is brand new merchandise, but it is older and it has never been worn. And this one has tags. So you can see right there the tags eight dollars. And um, boy, if I if I get that eight dollars back on every piece in the in here, assuming they all have tags, that would be a lot of money. That'd probably be four hundred to eight hundred bucks right here. I'd say there's fifty two hundred pieces. If it's all more the same, um, I don't know if this is like desirable ones. Warners, I never heard of it. It's not like I'm a big underwear, women's underwear shopper, right? So Warners, uh, $23. Do you see that? $23. So here's another $8 panties. I thought it was a rip. $8 panties. Ooh, this is going to be a long video. Don't worry, I won't go through everything. I won't go through everything. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of older, older, definitely vintage. So vintage is 20 years or older. We're definitely gonna have a lot of vintage underwear coming out of this unit. We haven't really shown very much. You may have seen it on other channels, like the Pirate, the storage auction Pirate. This is an $8 pair of Bali, and it's marked down to $4. So more of the same. The good thing is that um, on a, a lot of the pieces that we're pulling out, you can tell the elastic here, Let's listen. You hear the tag rubbing on there, but what we want to make sure we don't hear is a crackling. Like crackling when you when you stretch it because that would mean the elastic is old and dried and breaking as you pull it. These, the elastics seem really good. I mean, they actually feel like they're new. They feel new. Here's another pair, eight marked down to four. This is, this is like some kind of a bodysuit. Body Slimmers by Nancy Gans. So, that is used. There's no tags on it, so. Okay, here's another one. $9.50, okay? Another Warner's, same as in the other bag. 23 bucks, you guys. This is good stuff, 23 bucks. I'm hoping that this has a good resale value. This is $4, $8 marked to four. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna bring every piece out. I was just trying to give you guys an idea of what we have, you know, what, what this, what this, what this looks like when you bring it out. 
here, what's this? $12, okay. $12. It's a set, right? No. This is maiden form. That's $25. I, I had no clue bras were that much money. $25 for the bra, $12 for the panties. That's $37 new, and I would assume that these were bought in like the 80s or 90s. And there's a Macy's bag right there. Okay, this is the one and only Wonder Bra. $26 marked down to $13. And then we've got the matching panties, and these are $10 marked down to $5. Not that the sale price matters, okay? But, uh, yeah, again, no crackling in the elastic. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, so we got a whole bag of that. If you can see in there, a whole nother bag. Now, what we'd really like to find is some Victoria's Secret. The old Victoria's Secret stuff is big money. Well, this is more of the same here. Okay, I don't see tags on these. They feel new. All right, these are new. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, what did I just say? What did I just say? Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. Dang. That could be good right here. So hopefully I can look up that style number and get a price without opening the bag to photograph it or anything because um, this would be great if these were uh, like silk or satin or something. And they, it looks like they could be. They could definitely be. This could be some money right here. Oh, please be more. More. Victoria's Secret. Two more. Another one. Another one. So what are these? Fredericks of Hollywood. So that's got to be uh, decent, right? Fredericks? I think that's... Hopefully that's a good brand. I mean, hopefully that's got a good resale. Six fifty on that. This is the good stuff right here. Victoria's Secret. Warner's. Pretty good stuff, right? The Victoria's Secret especially. I hope we find a lot more of Victoria's Secret. Just because that's like... I know Fredericks is a big name too, but Victoria's Secret, the little bit of research that we did... Jenna, I looked up some of the stuff and it was like potentially really, really big money. Oh, here's another Fredericks right here. Fredericks, what is that even? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, lingerie Kakike. Kakike. Look at that Victoria's Secret right there. Another Victoria's Secret. Delicate Illusions is the name of this one. Alright. What the heck? There's a four pieces on this one. Four. Where does that go even? Is it for an alien? It's not made for the human body, I don't think. Victoria's Secret right here. Uh, this is good stuff, alright? I'm not I'm not complaining. This is good stuff because I think we're gonna make some money here. I think this is gonna be some big money. But I'd definitely rather find some toys or trains. Be honest with you. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a glove. <laughs> That's silliness. Okay. Bali. Bali. Made in Canada. Okay, another Brazier. Got a bunch more stuff in here. A bunch more stuff. Okay, let's not go through it all. I think it's gonna be getting more in here. It's gonna get boring. Let's take it out, make sure there's nothing at the bottom like a bunch of gold coins or something. Here's a whole bunch in the black color right here. Kind of satiny. So it depends on the mood you're in, right? Depends on the mood. Oh, this looks good though. Look at that. Victoria's Secret. Oh yeah. You can get a little Rapture perfume in there. Okay, oh, this is good right here. Look at that. Victoria's Secret bra. What's up, bra? What's up, bra? Nice. Okay. Yes. Boom. How much? Don't know. But that's good. Good, 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 good. So check this out. Victoria's Secret Store in the mall. It's dated April of 1993. 1993. Okay, next box. And there's some bags too. I, I don't remember where the bags came from. They were just sitting up on top. So I grabbed them. All right, now we're talking. That's more like it. Yeah, this is more my speed right here. No pun intended. This is an XV racer. Rechargeable motor inside. Wait a sec. This isn't like your average everyday Hot Wheel. This is more of a slot car, so we'll have to look that up. 
Yeah, okay, we got some more Hot Wheels up here. Shoot, I'll just leave these in the room right here and we'll just auction them off. There's one. 87, or 97 Corvette. Scream machines with real racing sounds. It's on the keychain. Speech, sound, and light. Battery's dead on. Yeah, how long has he been sitting? Let's see. 1999, that's 21 years old. This one's 1997. That's good. Ooh, hot rockin', hot rockin' steel die cast. Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, that's cool. Road Rocket. Yeah. There's a Ferrari F40. And a Pontiac Banshee. I don't remember that car. There's a concept or something. What years are these? 1998 and 1997. Man, I'll tell you what, these, this is super clear and like the colors are super vibrant. For being over 20 years old, these don't look old at all. They look like they just came out of the store. And I appreciate that. I do. Tectone series. Another Tectone series. Okay, another Tectone series. Huh, that's cool. Okay. This guy got crushed, unfortunately, is a Stompers. He's an awesome 4x4 power. Three speeds. What the heck? So there's a battery in there. Three speeds. Huh. Okay. Oh, look at this. Stock rods. These are a little different, aren't they? All right. Well, those are, like I said, those are cool. Those are probably going to stay right in this room. We'll auction them off on Monday. Yeah. This is another, I don't mean to sound disappointed, okay, guys, I know this stuff's good. I know this is going to be some money, but it's, yeah, it's more underwear. More underwear. Okay, Felina. Lingerie. I'm hoping this is all the same size so that we can, like, lot it up and sell it. So if we sort this out and get the brands right, Felina, we can get a bunch of Felinas all the same size. It's small, I guess. And just lot it together. Uh, that might help in selling these and finding buyers. Oh, uh, that's that's good. It's a bra, right? Seventeen. It was twenty nine dollars marked down to seventeen dollars. That's good. A little bigger money. It's another bag here. Are we getting all this? Okay. Yeah, Thirty six dollars. Way coal. That's a different. The bras seem to be about two and a half to three times more expensive than the panties, so we definitely hope we find more bras and panties. This one was on sale for $7.98, originally $16. Not a huge bag of bras and panties right here. So, I mean, even if these aren't Victoria's Secret, uh, I hope we find some Victoria's Secret in there, but even if we don't, if those are just all just regular ones, there's got to be like, I don't know, 10 sets in there, 10 of each at least. Somebody tape this up and never open it. Very interesting. What do we got here? We got some panties, I think. Look at that. Brand new. Verlina. They're all folded up super nice. See that? Brand new in this. You probably bought it. They wrapped it at the cash register. And it never came out again. Okay. Flex tees. These... It's a little different. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> you know what this makes me think of right here? This right here. Oh, it's Victoria's Secret. That's really good. But uh, if you guys haven't caught that Netflix series called Tiger King, oh my goodness, so interesting. It is very interesting. And uh, this is Victoria's Secret right here. Check this out. $20 marked down to $5. Uh, I think these are going to be pretty popular right now. I do think so. Check this out. Oh my goodness. No boundaries. Okay, so that's not Victoria's Secret, but it's a top, medium. Come on, Victoria's Secret. I know the Victoria's Secret stuff's bigger money. Yes, right here. Victoria's Secret. Nip Tuck Boost. 
Okay, that must be some kind of a, like a compression, compression wear. Bali, we've been seeing this brand, Bali, um, high cut brief, high cut. So that's good. I think like the granny cams are, are, uh, in, they're popular right now. So I, that's what I hear. So warmers or they sell well right now. So, uh, Victoria's Secret. Partners into it. Yeah, there's a look at this. Tons more. All like animal prints. So, well, they organize their underwear by color and print and that kind of stuff. We'll probably have to go back through it and reorganize it all through it by vendor and size. So I'm assuming it's all same size. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, now that's that's kind of weird. That's hoarderish, right? To keep all the tags from the the underwear. That, that's kind of weird. I know this is coming as a huge surprise and all, but we have another bag of underwear. And by underwear, I mean stuff that goes under your clothes, right? Here's a compression pants. These, I think, are good, though. Body by Bali thighs. This, and look at this. Again, like brand new. There's no, doesn't seem to be any compromised elasticity. Sounded all professional, then it? Compromise, elasticity. Oh, and then here we go again. Look at this. Hangers. All the hangers. This is kind of a hoarderish feel to it now. Okay, next box. We've got a brand new unopened box here, and then something that says storage. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh. Interesting. Okay, what does this say? Ray. Since these auctions closed back in June, I relisted and sold all except one of these items. I went through my selections and tried to I spelled tried wrong. Tried to match items that you bought. Plus, I added a few. Hope you are satisfied. Please let me know. Huh. Oh boy, what is this? Is it I don't know, is that evening wear? I don't know. Evening wear, intimate wear, underwear. I don't really know. Body drama lingerie, large. Okay, more lingerie stuff. Okay, so this stuff was in the box unopened, but it appears to be used. It appears he bought it through some sort of a e uh, eBay auction or something. This is definitely the stuff he liked to deal in right here. The stuff slipping off the table over there because it's all it's either silk or satin or something slippery. I just don't know how I'm gonna resell this kind of stuff. If it's all large, then I guess we could just lot it up, take good photos, and put it up. But I don't know. What kind of market is this? Undercover wear. Let's see what's in the box. Marked storage. Right here. Chooch, Ex Chooch Enterprises. This is some stuff to put uh, inside the backs of the trains, I would think. To show the load that they're carrying. End scale. That's cool. Okay. okay, what do we got here? Oh yeah, what's this? Bud, King of Beers. I think this is a vintage shirt. Stony Creek, large. I think that's vintage right here. That's a really good find. Oh no. It's got something dripped down it right here. Right, maybe we're gonna wash that and see if we can get that out. Cause that could potentially be a good shirt. This. Utility sleepwear. This is just some pajama bottoms. Dickies. Oh, that's nice. Nice sweatshirt. Dickies. Extra large. That's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. That's a really nice sweatshirt. Oh, man. Don't tell me this is more of the same. Ah. Bali. Okay, again, not complaining. I know this stuff's good. I know it's going to bring in some decent revenue. It's not what I like to deal with. Good, good money. Oh man, I don't even know. How do we even count how many there are to give you guys an idea? There's so many. So many. There's just jockey. Okay. It's just bags too. It just puts like empty bags in there. Okay, Frederick's of Hollywood, that's good. Look at this. 
Forty-two dollars. Dang. Forty-two dollars for this one piece right here. Okay. All right. We got one here. And we got one here. That's like a hundred and twenty-six dollars worth of stuff when it was new, right there. Okay, another of this way coal right here. We've seen a couple pieces from that brand as well. Seduction Fredericks of Hollywood. New with tags, 42 bucks. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Fredericks of Hollywood legwear. Donna Karen Hosiery. Supposed to be brand new. This is like newspaper uh, bags here. This is like what they would deliver the Sunday paper in. So we're using all this stuff. Let's see what this is. Fredericks of Hollywood. Good stuff. Fredericks of Hollywood. No price, but it has tags. Fredericks, good stuff. I'm about to research that and see if we got value on those. I have a feeling we're gonna have a good value on Fredericks. No tag on this, I mean, no uh, uh, price tag on it, but there is still a new tag on it. Brand new. Brand new. Nice. All right, this looks like the last one. No, I did not get the uh, editing mixed up and put it twice. It's just another one of these gray bins and another brand new box right here. Let's see what this one's got. Okay. Oh boy, okay, we've got some fuzzy stuff in here. And there's a lot in here too. See that in there? This thing is full. Okay, next box right here. Okay, yeah, okay, finally. Got something a little, little better. Okay, there's a like a sports bra or something, like a workout top right there. Village Square. All right, so here we've got some Christmas collectibles. Is this Department 56? That'd be nice, but no. I think it's, this This is the brand, Village Square 2006. It says Mervyn's, 20 bucks. Huh? Police officer and firefighter set, that's cool. Another Village Square piece. Santa's new sleigh. This is Department 56, okay? So this, some of this stuff is very collectible and very valuable. $15 right there. What's this? Okay. It's like little presents for me. Season's greetings from JC Pennies. Okay. <laughs> Disney. That's cool. Right? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, there's many. This Christmas stuff is gonna be good sellers. Oh, look at this. That's cool. We had one of these before. We had actually, I think, three of these before. And we auctioned them. And uh, maybe this one's a little different, huh? This is an Osh diecast, big diecast car. So for Orchard Supply Hardware, they're, they are out of business. I don't know if this kind of stuff will become collectible now. I guess we'll find out. Here's another Village Square piece. This is from 2005. Sleigh ride with the family. Those neat pieces. And then the, this is Department 56 right here. Check this out. This is a big piece. North Pole Series. Santa's Sleigh Maker set of two. Still in the shrink wrap. Oh my goodness, look at the price tag. $110 brand new. Man, that's great. Ah, look at this. This one is a collector's edition, hand numbered limited edition of 14,000. Good stuff. I'd rather find this box than underwears. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see right there. Oh, this is cool, look at this. Look at that, you guys. The Demon, Super Stage Figures. Huh. 
interesting. Well, that's what it looks like right here. Oh, okay, so it's got the one guy in three different poses. Interesting. All right. Nutcracker. <laughs> That's awesome. Locker nuts. Get it? Get the time. Okay. Ooh. This is, a... is that Mrs. Claus, really? I think that's Santa Claus. It's, oh, Mr. Santa Claus. I thought it said Mrs. I guess it's just kind of weird to call him Mr., but... Uh, that's what it is. Santa Claus Nutcracker. It's a big one. And... Well, it's... Oh, lock of nuts. Handmade in Germany. That's good. Christian Ulbricht. Ulbricht. So, right here we've got the stamp. Yeah, this probably... 2002 of 5,000. This one's numbered. I hope this guy's worth some money. Let's look him up, too. Better than underwear. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is multiples right here. Oh my goodness, just four of these. Look at this, four log cars in there. That's pretty cool, look at them. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there we go. You can see me in the reflection, sorry about that. Kind of ruining the shot. All right, but check that out. Art 86500 log car. And we've got four of these in the box here. I think that's gonna be good. We'll have to get that listed. All right, guys, here's the last box we're gonna go through in this episode. That's a not quite collectible piece. And, yeah, this is brand new though. Huh. Expires in 2004, that might be past the, past its prime. That's just my guess, I don't know. Bike to work day 2003. Okay. Yeah, that's kinda cool. All right, we got some records here. This is good. Okay, this is good. Eagles, witchy woman. Ooh, ooh, witchy woman. Nice. The Electric Indian, Kimosabi. Don McLeon, American Pie. This is some good ones, right? BJ Thomas never had it so good. These records are in great condition. Besides the fact that I'm getting my fingers on them, they're in outstanding condition. Pickety Witch. Maybe we've been loving too long. That same old feel feeling. Carpenters, I kept on loving you. Manchild, Vanity Fair. And Hitch and a Ride. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Helplessly Hoping. Cool Heat. <laughs> cool Heat. Are you nuts? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Johnny Tolbert. Freda Payne. Three Dog Night. Bad Finger, Jerry Reed, Bad Finger, Money, The Rolling Stones, Sweet Black Angel, Tumbling Dice, The Poppy Family, Free, Oh, Ringo Starr, huh. All right, there's The Monkees, and there's two in here, and this one is The Who, hmm, Chicago. Boy, this is great. Great set. Rolling Stones, Brown Sugar. Rolling Stones, Happy and Down the Line. Ooh, won't read that one. Blondie. Wait a second. This is this is getting good. Heart of Glass. 1159. Is that the name of the song? Pat Benatar. Oh. Blondie. Call me. Oh. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Refugee. Good. And it's raining again. Oh man, this is good. Ike and Tina Turner. Proud Mary. That's funny. We we had that exact record in the other lot. That is funny. What a coincidence. House of the Rising Sun by the Animals. Oh my goodness, it's one of my favorite songs. Three Dog Night. Okay, this is a much better record collection than the last one we found. Not that the other one wasn't good. It had a lot of old Motown. This one, however, has sleeves for almost everything and some great titles, or at least stuff that I'm more familiar with. Tom Petty, I'm going to put that in the record player as soon as I get done taping this. Uh, okay, here's a little train. 
have to look this guy up, see what that was worth. Lionel Lion 6465. Look that guy up. It's hard because so many of the trains in this locker are in their boxes in excellent condition. So we find one that's out of the box like that in a little bit rougher condition. It's hard to get excited about it. And uh, this is just some like long johns. But that doesn't mean that that's not a good find. I mean, if we found that in another locker, I'd be super excited. World of Shoes presents the city of Dublin fun run and walk. That's funny. Not big money. Not a big money shirt. Oh, here's another Hot Wheels. No fear racing car. A race car. That's cool. What is this? AFX Aurora. Ooh, are these slot cars? I think these are slot cars right here. There's two of them in here too. I think this guy's the only one that's supposed to be in there. The other one's just being stored in there. I'm going to have to look these up. These slot cars sometimes can be worth a lot of money. We found some decent stuff already. I'm going to look this one up right here. That almost brings our video to a close anyways. And we do have this. Oh, what is this? I got excited for a second. Here. This is not anything special right now. This is just somebody practicing, learning. Crystal, it says, September of 1993. Somebody's learning, maybe taking an art class, and that's what we see in here. Okay. That's what we're seeing here. Very basic stuff, kind of stuff you do when you're first learning. And, oh, a little painting. Jeez. Okay. We didn't exactly end that one on a big one. Let's look up a couple of those items, see if we got anything good. All right, you guys, so great stuff coming out today. I just, it's almost overwhelming how much value there is in the lingerie stuff. I looked up some of the pieces. I looked it up before, and I did a little more research on some of the brands that we came across today. I'm not even going to show you guys because it's just, it's all across the board. We have to do a lot more research. But some of those brands, the pieces that I'm pulling up, for like one pair of panties, for example, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, sometimes up to $80 if we have the right piece. I don't know if we have the right piece, um, but I know that some of these are definitely going to be high value. Those four containers right there, how many pieces do you think there were? You kind of saw what was in there. I'm thinking there's at least, come on, 50, 50 pieces per container is 200 pieces. And if we got 10 bucks a piece, which seems to be on the low side, I know some of them are going to be less than that, but some of them are going to be much more than that. 10 bucks a piece, that's two grand right there in those four bins. We have a half a 10 by 20 storage locker full of this kind of stuff. Crazy, right? Um, I just want to show you a couple of the other big surprises. And I would say like the slot car is not exactly a big surprise because I knew this thing was going to have value. Uh, but this one, of all things... I looked it up just because I was curious. It doesn't look like anything, really. I really didn't think much of it. Let me show you what I found on eBay. All right, first up are these Stompers. These are made by Peach Tree out of Atlanta. There's not very many for sale. So let's check. But you can see they're good values, like 100 bucks. But let's check the sold listings and see what's sold. Wow. Okay, $200. And 150 now that you see the best offer was taken on those. But here we see 125 that was sold. And then we got a couple best offers, but still a re over slightly over $100. And then 109 sold, 100 best offer, 95 sold, 80, 80, 80, 70, 78, 58, 67. Yeah, a lot of values. So then over to the AFX, so the slot car. Look at that, 650 bucks. These are some, okay, there's one that looks very similar. Different car, similar case. There's another one, similar case, 450. I've sorted this to put the highest value on top. But look at these numbers in the 300s. That's juicy. In the 200s, still juicy. <laughs> uh, that one looks very similar right there. Uh, but, yeah, we get down. There's some, yeah, there's one that looks similar, 250 and still dropping, but still in the 200s. This is a loose one for over 200. All right, so go back up and uh, let's check the sold prices, right? Because that's all that really matters. Look at this, 495 on that one. It's a Datsun pickup. And then uh, here we have one, Plymouth Roadrunner, 
two hundred and thirty dollars. So only two have sold that are similar. There's another G plus up there, but uh, not a lot has sold. A lot for sale, but all of them very very strong prices. I'm really happy about that. So that's uh, yeah, big surprise on that one. Not a real big surprise on this because I've just recently tuned into uh, how much value these can have, but this is definitely the right guy right here. Um, and then remember this one had two pieces. This one was also in there. This is also the same company, AFX. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom. I'll have to look this guy up. I haven't done it yet. Pretty cool though, look at it, it's a Datsun 240Z, sweet car. Um, but this one is smaller than this one, so I imagine this one's worth more. This one's be worth less, but so what? I think this is 80 bucks right here. That's an $80 bill. I have a feeling that's an $80 bill right there. Whew, crazy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I've got so much more of this stuff to go through. I think it's gonna be a lot of the same. A lot of car stuff, a lot of vintage underwear, a lot of train stuff. Um, I hope we find more records. I hope we find more slot cars, but uh, I, I really don't know. We went through that unit very quickly when we divided everything, and uh, some of this I saw, some of it I didn't. So it's exciting. Even if I saw it before, it's exciting to, to uh, take my time with the pieces, show it, on, show it to you guys on film, and also to research a little bit more but there's gonna be a lot more research that's necessary with all of the pieces that we saw today uh, because a lot of this is gonna get listed on eBay. So um, anyways, uh, that's making it difficult to put videos out every day. It's making it difficult to edit and also it might even make it difficult to have two auctions this week. We might only have to have one. We'll just have to see. But in the meantime, if you guys would, please give me a thumbs up. Just show me that you like seeing me go through the boxes and do this and share it on YouTube so you guys can come along for the adventure and experience uh, this is this uh, discovery this treasure hunt with me. All right, because I so enjoy it So we'll have another video out very very soon and until then good luck to you. God bless you We'll see you next time here on Lockerdots